Dion T. Coming at you again with another hot Kai NPC Renaissance tutorial. Today's topic is going to be about the preference menu. Um, it's a really good idea to understand this menu because as new versions of the software continues, um, there's always going to be a lot of changes to it. Um, for example, I know the new 1.8 update has additional features in this preference menu because a lot of stuff is changing, especially with the sampling. So, um, I guess it's a good idea to understand and, you know, get a basic idea of what this preference menu is. Basically, this preference menu is, is where you do all your changes at. Right here under audio controls all your audio all your audio preferences like uh you know the the sample rate, the buffer size, um the inputs and outputs. Um and that's pretty much it. It shows you the late the latency adjustment. Um like I said sample rate and you can also uh change your audio buffer size as you all know you're always going to change your audio buffer size depending on the size of your project so you know keep that keep this in mind um, as far as the MIDI you know it's pretty much self-explanatory it shows all your MIDI mapping and all your MIDI inputs um, this this will be where like all your controller settings or any type of MIDI instrument you have it will show up here um, as you can tell, you know, I got my <clears throat> motif um, acting as a controller right now in the NPC Renaissance software. So, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You should definitely understand MIDI because you can do a lot of stuff with MIDI. Um, a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Um, but that's a topic for another video which will be coming soon. Over here is basically where you scan in it for every time you have plugins or audio units you would definitely rescan it or scan them here and um you know this this thing has been upgraded because back when it first came out it wasn't that sophisticated that it is now so keep that in mind the auto load and save feature now <clears throat> this is a new feature that came I believe in the 1.7 um it gives you ability to auto load a specific project. Um, like for example, right here I got my template already set. I can always change that if I want to. So anytime I go over here um, to new uh, new template, it'll go to this template that I created. You know, for additional information about templates, check out my video that I did on it. Um, the auto load file is sweet in case you just want to work on one specific uh, project. You can actually say if you um, you got a real big project or whatever, and you don't want to have to you know go to file and search for it or go over here and search for it. You can automatically select uh, the project to cut on when you cut on your NPC. So that's pretty cool. The auto save feature is a good, I believe they added this probably back in 1.7 or 1.6. It's an auto save feature, which is just like saving up sessions of your uh, of your project and you can enable it and you can, save, you can save it every five minutes, every two minutes or every ten minutes. It really depends. Um, this is a real good feature in case your computer, you know, crashes, you know, um, you can always go back, you know what I'm saying? It'll, it'll be like whatever was saved, you know. Um, I believe Akash should do like a session backup type of uh, thing like Pro Tools, so you can always go back. So if you're listening to Akai, you know, try to get that feature in where we can do session backups. Because I'm pretty sure everybody will love that. Um, but this is that's really what explains this tab right here. The sequencer is pretty much self-explanatory. You got the display resolution of your sequencer. Um, it's two choices you can choose. 
You can place events recorded during counting and count. Um, I mean, it just these are just really self-explanatory once you look at it, you know. So um, that's what that is. But that's applying to the sequencer only. The hardware, of course, you can do your path threshold, your path sensitivity. You know, um, you know how sensible you want your path to be. Um, you can do the pad curve. You can, if you got a foot foot switch connected, you can uh, control it from here as well. And uh, you can change the velocity, the pad velocity, and after touch and things of that nature. This right here just shows your hardware inf info. It shows your serial number, your drive number, the firmware. Make sure you're current with the firmware, and then it says the hardware type. So if you have like a studio. It's a NPC studio, you know what I'm saying? Um, but this just keeps you up to date. Like I said, these features wasn't really known back then. They, Like I said, they really just um, added these, you know, a couple uh, versions back. This is all your MIDI CC information, you know, if you want to receive MIDI clock. Like, you can, you can control other MIDI stuff from your NPC. Like, I'll be doing a video more on MIDI soon. Um, but these are all your MIDI for everybody that know understand MIDI. This is our this is where you can set your MIDI clock and all that stuff to send and receive. And then you have registration. Registration wasn't always on here. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's always good to register your product. Um, so you they so you can have you know you can get access to things better like that. Like I said, this version is registered to me through a Kai. They gave me my number. You know what I'm saying, and they know my name. They got the serial number of the unit and everything. Um, and this is <coughs> just other, which um, th this is definitely going to be upgraded during the 1.8 update because we're going to have Q sampling, and there's going to be more you know options available here. But this is just pretty much you know like the tap the tempo. You can set it to two, three taps, or four taps. Uh, the sampling bit depth, you know, 16 to 24 bit. Um, audition autoplay, you know, you can set the time. Multiple process threads. This is pretty much your, your dual core, your processors pretty much. You, want, you can set it to two, or you can set it to one. But I always keep my eyes on two, of course. So you can do the program change. You can filter your MIDI, no, your MIDI note CC. Um, which we'll get into that later on but other than that this is pretty much the preference menu as of now as of 1.72 it is going to have more options as the uh, the version of the software improves so um, rate subscribe like share and um, if y'all don't have the NPC renaissance by now man you know like I've been saying <laughs> gotta get it you gotta get it peace